Wow, folks, take a look at this. This is what Arctic air looks like. When it's sunny and seven degrees, that's cold. That's Des Moines, Iowa right now. They're on the backside of that Arctic push down towards the south. That front has made it into North Texas, into the Panhandle, or just around Dallas, Fort Worth right now. So for us today, this is going to be the last warm day we're going to see for a while. This cold air is going to stick around for a while. It'll modify some going into the weekend, but it is going to be below normal all the way into the early part of next week at least. Those winds are going to be breezy this afternoon, but they'll start to lighten up as we go into the evening hours. But then they're going to pick her up right again as that front moves through early tomorrow morning. That is our next weather maker, and it is the talk of the town. So we've got, again, warm temperatures out there this morning. We're going to be in the 60s to start off the day tomorrow. That's ahead of the front. Now, by 7 o'clock in the morning or so, it should be pretty much through the valley. Behind it, we'll have those cold north winds and we'll have those cold temperatures moving in. Rain showers, not a real big problem. There'll be some as the front moves through. But it's as we go through the day on Thursday that we see rain chances pick up. Area of upper level energy out towards the west will be giving us the lift we need to take this cold air and this moisture at the surface and give us those showers around. Where you see the pink in here, that's where we have indication, at least on this particular computer model, that we could see some rain mixes, some sleet and some freezing rain. The winter storm watch takes into account Star County as being one of the main areas that could see the brunt of the winter weather over the coming 24 to 36 hours or so. So then here is your temperature. So again, with the front makes it through. Notice how quickly these temperatures fall off. 57 at Brownsville at 715 tomorrow morning, but already down in the low to mid 40s as you go into the mid and upper valley. And then look at by uh, tomorrow evening. This model already has us down into the low to mid 30s for temperatures. So that's again with rain sh uh, showers picking up and intensifying in coverage or at least increasing in coverage during the overnight hours Thursday into Friday. That's why we have to watch this very closely. This is real close to that magical number of 32 degrees. Now the ground is pretty warm out there, so the main threat would be roadways, bridges more than anything else if we get some of that wintry weather across the area. But there again, something we'll have to watch very closely because the uh, rainfall will be around. It's going to stick around at least in the first part of the afternoon on Friday. There's your wind chill forecast. Look at this. This is 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, already feeling like the mid-30s. That wind's going to be howling out of the north at about 30 miles per hour, and that's going to make it feel like the mid-30s. And then mid and upper 20s, even some lower 20s, is what it's going to feel like by Thursday night and early Friday morning. So this is definitely going to be a situation where you're going to need to make sure you take extra precautions, bundle up, and all of that fun stuff that we have when it gets cold down here this type of cold. Here's future cast as far as rainfall. So again, that's really going to pick up as we get into Thursday night and Friday morning. Again, this uh, different computer model wants to bring in some of that uh, wintry mix into the lower valley by Friday morning, Thursday night, Friday morning. So again, get those temperatures just a little bit colder and we have a bigger mess around here. They're a little bit warmer than this mostly stays just in rain, but a very cold rain throughout the Friday morning uh, commute. So we'll watch that real closely. As far as rainfall total, some one to two inch uh, amounts are possible between tomorrow morning and seven o'clock Saturday evening. Some really good widespread rainfall expected across the area and we do need the rain in the worst way. We just don't want all the mess that goes along with it. Winter storm watch in effect from 3 a.m. to noon on Friday for uh, Star in northern Hidalgo County. Wind chill watch for Willisey County. And then we're also looking at a freeze watch 10 p.m. Thursday to 10, 11 a.m. Friday for that same area north of the populated Rio Grande Valley. There's a 7-day forecast in trying to put this complicated mess into a chart here. So early tomorrow morning, near 60 degrees, we're going to fall quickly tomorrow. It's just going to be a rainy, cold mess until we get into Saturday morning. And even Saturday, Sunday, still with some sun breaking through, temperatures only in the 50s for highs. This is cold air, folks, and something that is a dangerous situation to take a look at for the next 24 to 36 hours starting tomorrow morning.